We have seen the crimson power of the Weird Hunter. We have shot the arrows and been disappointed by the Sentinel. Or whatever that other class was. And the only real solace I have found in this hellscape is the Summoner. Blood Mage was also pretty cool, but it was red, so, you know, whatever. We are back, obviously, in Tainted Grail. I am Freno Fantastic. Welcome to the channel. Now, as you all know, I do grinding off camera, testing out the abilities and the powers of these warriors, and I've pretty much been disappointed for the most part. Um, especially with, I forgot about the Pathfinder, that was one of the worst runs I've ever had. But now, today, or tonight, depending on when you're watching this video, we are now working with the Berserker. Now it looks a little, little shanky. Looks like another warrior type character. I don't know how this is gonna differ from the Weird Hunter or the Pathfinder, but this one's purple and I have a little bit of faith in this one. Hopefully it won't be as bad as the Pathfinder, but slightly better than the Weird Hunter. Regardless, this is what we're doing right now, and I better not be disappointed. Uh, Berserkers are invigorated when they are heavily wounded, making them most deadly when they're balancing on the verge of death. See, high risk, high reward. It, you better be doing mega damage. Uh, passive skill. When you're below HP, gain one energy. Okay, so I can attack more when I have lower health, but... Can I restore my health somehow? We're gonna find out. Berserker. Now, I'm really hoping this class will impress me. Because the past four, aside from the Blood Mage, go figure, have not been that great in my opinion. Have not been that tight. I still don't know how to use the arrows properly, but still, I feel like I should feel something in my soul, in my boneness. Anyway, here we are. Okay, so. Uh, oh, I've also got more people. Um, so you guys are already familiar with the, 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 the seamstress. I think I might be able to... 99, are you, <laughs> are you serious? I am one blood drip squirt short of getting this upgrade. But yeah, I've been, I've been doing some stuff. Um, also... Uh, I guess you guys were here when I got the uh, the ghost man. He just wants you to gamble money with him, play dice. Not a big deal. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, obviously. Uh, then we've got the scientist chick here. The scientist woman with the glass eye who gives us very strange, like, items to use. They have, like, weird side effects, but they are kind of helpful. I haven't really delved into her too much, but the main thing is she has this item drop chance boost that I've been leveling up, so I get more items when I'm when I'm fighting now. So that helps in the long run. Um, and then she's got these other things, yeah, you know, weird side effect items. She's alright, but I think that's about it. I think I'm actually one villager short from having a uh, complete cast. Uh, let me get the wolves because I feel like I might need some help if I'm going to be getting beaten up. Um, as for the blacksmith. The blacksmith is hard. Yes. Um, I don't have enough dust. Oh, but I did level up one of his abilities that's going to make me, here we go. The runestone drop chance boost. I was able to level this up a little bit. So now runestones are going to drop a lot more, which then I can use to merge, get more dust and do more power ups. You know, I kind of feel like I missed out on some of these. Um, should I buy any? Or am I okay for now? Uh, first run increase my damage. Well, this is gonna be a berserk damage run, so let's see. Increase overall damage. That's just the first turn. Um, yeah, let's, let me get a, let me get a cracked gar. Let's get a cracked gar and equip that hoe on this hoe. All right, more damage, please. I feel like that's going to be quite necessary as we travel the weird. Uh, Kia. Let's go to the left. 
let's see what this class has to offer. Impress me. Alright. What do we have here? Yep, another attack character with, with block abilities. Okay, okay. Um, life steal. Okay, so my ultimate ability is to steal life. Okay. Heal equal to the specific amount of damage dealt. Okay, see. Four charges. Okay, see, this, this works. I can lose health, but also gain it. Um, deal one hit for five to seven and reduce the enemy's armor. Sure. Okay. Uh, let's reduce it some more and gain armor to the end of turn retaliate five damage per hit Ooh, that's actually pretty nifty I'm just gonna keep whacking you a bunch because I can probably kill you before you split into your your friends so let's small strike it up yep yeah yeah okay yeah you're pretty much dead how do I get charges of this uh, oh anytime I'm hit it builds a charge okay little give and take action nice oh and also from one of the characters I got to join the village I got this card shreds thing so when I level up and I don't take any cards it'll add to that stash uh, discard all cards and draw three you know whatever whatever I get items now this turn increase your damage by 50 tight uh, block the next hit of a chosen enemy. Cool. Discard your hand, draw five cards. Or, or re-roll. I don't know much about this class, so I'm not sure what kind of cards are in store for me. Last only one turn. Block the next hit. But I get to choose who I block it from. Uh, increase my damage. This one seems... nifty. Let's let's do the all in. I I don't know. Whenever you have less, uh, whenever you have less than twenty five HP, increase your damage by seventy five. Goodness, I hit like a bus. Uh, whenever less than twenty five, gain armor. Whenever you receive a hit, gain ten armor next turn. So I constantly take less the more I get hit. That's that seems like that's beneficial for this line of work. Uh, another gar. Let's uh you know. Put it on the armor. Hit some bitches when they hit me. Okay. So far, so good. Slightly impressed. Um, not a lot, but, you know. Let's see. We shall continue. Alright, so you. Every time I hit you, you get stronger, and you just use normal attacks. Uh, oh, you, but you negate certain hits. Um, let us eat lettuce. Um, okay. Reduce your armor. And reduce your armor some up. Then. Wait, five to the end of the turn. I mean, I'm gonna get hit, so might as well. Might as well see what we're about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not bad. Uh, reduce armor. That and let's do one hit. Okay, I got some charges here for being hit. Oh, yo, it's perfect. Okay, I understand the berserk now. Uh, we need to do. Well, I'm about to kill you, and I can block one. Um, you know what? Let's, let's play it a little risky. I don't like how you got your armor back, so we're just gonna get rid of you. And we'll do that. Huh? Okay, you still negate certain things. So I feel like I should. Oh, it only reduces it for two turns. Um. Let, let's get puppers. I need you to start whacking people. This will stun you. I can block. I really am not sure what to do. Do I still get a charge from blocking? I got a buff. Um, let's, uh, let's do some small strikes. Oh, you negate all of them. Okay. Well, 
Pet the puppy. Okay, so your attack's up, but your armor's slightly down. Uh, yeah, do that. I'm not hitting you quite enough. Pet the puppy. And... Mm, small strikes. We're still blocking everything. I start doing life steal. Because you're just negating everything right now. And that's not cool. That is not cool. Do you do your hits? Whatever you're doing. Uh puff it up. I mean this dog's just gonna keep getting stronger until I get what I want. That one. Um Okay, so blocking doesn't count. The armor's back up. But, we're just gonna keep doing this until something happens. You know? We're just gonna keep doing it. Because right now, you're not taking any damage. And I'm supposed to be strong. Just get a barrier and lose 10% of my HP. Well, it might actually be beneficial. So, buffers. And fortify. Damage increase my temp for every 10. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep getting stronger the more health I lose. And the puppy is strong enough now to do some things. And let's just stun you this round. Because you're a jerk. Um, some of that. Okay, so you're slowly taking damage. Okay. Um, I guess we should try the lifesteal. Did I... Oh, so whenever I hit you, I guess. Okay. Um. Really? So I'm just not getting any health. Because you're just going to block everything. Well, that stinks. That is, uh, that sucks. Those orbs are not my friend. Um, hello, Ghosty Woasty. Finally, we're pretty close. You walk and walk, yet the scenery doesn't Oh yeah, doesn't he wants to show me where change. his treasure is, his money. I promise which we're actually moving. I'm a ghost. I can see such things now. Can you now? After an eternity or two, the ghost stops. Here, dig here. After right. another eternity spent digging in the ground, your shovel hits something. Hey, me. Several back-breaking heaves of the shovel later, you realize it's a coffin. Okay. Suddenly, a hand bursts through the coffin lid, then another one. A moment later, you see the silhouette of a woman floating out of the grave. Ooh. She's mostly decomposed, though there's some rotting flesh hanging here and there on the bones. The corpse opens her eyes. When she sees the ghost standing behind you, she immediately starts screaming. Uh. Gunner, you worthless scum! You disgusting, lazy bastard! How dare you leave me, you rotten! Shut up! The woman, okay. clearly in shock, falls silent. I never got the courage to tell you this when I was alive. And now that I'm dead, I don't care. Shut up! Once and for all. Really? That was that was the point of this whole quest was to get back at your ex because you didn't have the balls when you were alive. That's you that, treated that's me funny. like a piece of horse crap or worse. Horse crap. I did everything I could, and it wasn't enough for you, was it? You know what? I'm happy now. Good for you, man. You You're tell her gone, off. and I will never see you again. And I'm happy. And this time. I will be the one to silence you. Not death. I will shut your mouth forever. Before right. she has a chance to react, he throws something at her. Oh. Did you hit her with a spell? 
and just completely ha. disintegrated her. No, that felt good. Okay. Well, I might have exaggerated the treasure-related part of me story. Maybe a little. I actually gambled everything away. But you have to admit that this was priceless. That was priceless because I got nothing out of it. There was no price. There was no money. But, you know, oh, good for you. Oh, come on. You saw for yourself that she was a lovely creature, wasn't she? I have to admit that the weirdness made her even more beautiful. Well, yeah, what man that's all his own. I ever wanted out of me after life. Now I can die happy. Oh, wait. But thank you, really. I couldn't have dug her up without your help. Um. Cool. NPC saved. So, does that mean you cross over and I never see you again? What kind of special card did I get? I need answers. I have so many questions. Well, mainly two. But did I get anything out of it? Alright, well, let's move on to the next one. Um, reduce armor for three turns or draw one. You know what? Whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's get you... You're just going to take all the hits, and we're going to get some puppy action to help us out. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right, I'm still missing health from that last fight. Okay. Mm. Do some of this. Uh, one of these. And pet the pup. You know, not terrible. We are making progress. Oh, you're about to die. Okay, well, do I have anything that can hit you, Super Hollywood? Ugh. Well, you're gonna be dead anyway. So, yeah. Well, this is kind of sad. You're just about to just go. You're just about to go. Hooray. Okay. Uh, one hit for 30. is a 20% chance of hitting yourself instead. What is with these things? Why do these things exist? Alright. Reduce enemies armor by 100% of your damage until the end of combat. Okay. Gain one block. Next turn, draw one additional card with its cost reduced. Nice. Uh, one hit for 150. Upgrade. Every enemy killed by this card increases the damage to the end of combat. Uh, well, I mean, I don't have a lot of enemies on the field, but it's nice to know I can use that. Hmm. Reduce armor. Gain a block. You know what? Let's, let's just do the finishing blow. Reduce armor of all enemies by 10. Cool. In you go. <laughs> Alright, marketplace. What have you got for the sale? The investment is going to be worth it, I promise. Oh, that's right. You're the guy who wants free money. You are getting items, though. So I guess it's working. Um. Okay. You want some money, man? I only got 92 bucks. How much would you like to? I can't even invest. I don't even have enough to invest right now. I'll be back, maybe, if I give a shit. Um, let's fight you. Let's see what you guys have in store for me. Alright. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's get some puppy. And reduce some armor. And reduce it some more. Okay. Right. We will. We shall. We must. Uh. Pet the pup. Mortify. And small strikes. And let's do a regular attack. Doing okay damage for my class.
class, I suppose. Finishing blow. And it's gonna be stronger because I used it that way. Um, what, do you, what is this? Oh, you're gonna attack everyone on the battlefield and buff. I don't think I've seen you do this. You usually split into critters. So let's increase my damage and whack you and whack you some more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you just split into one little critter, not a bunch. Uh, I mean that's fine. Kiao. Kiao. Okay. You know, this berserker class is not bad. It's okay. I uh, definitely like it better than the Weird Hunter and the, the Path... I still don't know what the Pathfinder... What was the point of that class? That class just died, like, immediately. I didn't really get to do anything. The man greets you as if nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I was younger, only a teenager, really. I was one of the guards in an asylum not far from Tintagel. On the Dark Morass, we were stationed there to ensure the plague wouldn't spread. Mm -hmm. You know how it is with all these infected people. Since the destined to die of the Red Death, they just don't care what happens to the rest of us. Okay. I mean, your legs are burning in the flames. You're literally rooted into the ground. I was supposed to protect the healthy, but at one point I... couldn't. I got soft. I got soft and... Well, it must be I couldn't very comfy. keep up with my duties. I couldn't sacrifice the few for the many. I did save a group of infected people, but I let the plague spread. Aww. Now you see the nature of my... You think now about his stuck. deeds and realize that if he was just a teenager back then, he must have been sitting here for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Well, you showed compassion. It backfired. But it counts. Uh, what is good for the many should always outweigh what's good for the few. Oh, so you did a good or you did a bad? I mean... <sighs> Compassion or you fucked up, bro? Um... A lot of people died because you wouldn't kill a few people. That's a very hard conundrum. Let's go with compassion. Maybe I did. But many people. Maybe even ones more innocent than those I saved. Mm -hmm. You explain that someone in your village is interested in his condition. All right, the scientist wants you a piece of his, sample of the roots his which wood link skin. To the flame. With a puzzled stare, but without shit out the of it. slightest hesitation, he cuts off a chunk of his leg. He falls silent. You know, there's more that he wanted to ask you. But All right, so move a card, gain a level, gain a random legendary. That legendary is typically like a block. So let's do that. Okay, I got deal six hits for 33% damage to random enemies. Each hit reduces the armor by five. That's 33% damage. Like 33% more or it's like nerfed. That's weird. One hit for 75% damage to everybody. Mm. Four hits of 100% damage to randos. That's awesome. Hmm. That's literally an upgrade of the, uh, the small strikes. One hit 75, error body. I think I'm gonna do... Storm of Blades. Is that right? Try to do Whirlwind. Ooh. I'll do Storm of Blades. Uh, gain, max HP, start of... Uh, each combat, I get four charges. Cool. Whenever you kill an enemy, duplicate the next attack type card played. Oh, so I can attack again. Oh, for zero energy. Nice. That's only when I kill people. Let's get some health. Because I be low on it. Hello, pigman. Hello. 
Okay, buddies. Okay. We need to get the wolves. Do some tricks. And then do some hits. Add Piggly Wiggly. Right. We are going to reduce your armor. Ooh, four hits. Dead. That. That's right. You appreciate that. Now die. Come on, pig, die for me. Increase damage this turn. I can't kill anybody, so or or maybe I can. Maybe we do this and then we do that. Yeah, and now because I can kill, it's gonna buff it. Make it stronger. We pet the wolf. He's a healthy, growing boy. And I feel like you should be pretty much dead, right? Um, because I can do, like, earth thing. Mm. Let's, let's do some of this. Oh, goodness. Yeah, you dead. You dead, girl. Nice. Uh, draw one additional card. Steal HP after every combat. Cool. Gold beans. Very nice. Into the tavern. What was once a lively tavern now stands abandoned amongst dense clouds of the weirdness. Deserted and eerie, it is as silent as a grave. Suddenly, a small man with a red nose approaches, waving bottles of hooch. His smell is one of a kind, a uniquely pungent odor that you can feel coating the inside of your nose. He's a happy fellow. It's a mix of sweat, ale, and piss, with a subtle note of rotten grapes sprinkled on top. Gross. He looks like a caricature of a dancing fairy, but this fairy happens to be the drunkest, hairiest, and smelliest person in all Avalon. Hey. Come on. Take a sip. Don't be shy. Drink with me, and you'll forget every useless skill you've ever learned and every worthless person you've ever met. Just let your brain melt. It's my special recipe. Why would Isn't I that want wonderful? That? Let your brain melt from my special. Get a random consumable and a rune stone and a combat. Okay, but as long as I don't forget my skills, that's that's the one thing I don't need to happen. I can't be walking around in Weird Town aimlessly with no abilities. I just a bunch of empty cards pop up, and I just get one shot. Um. All right. Well, let's see. Uh, you feel the fluid see what burning down your throat and into your stomach, leaving a peculiar iron-like aftertaste. Oh, you have no iron. idea what the swill is, but at least one thing was true. You're sure it made you forget something? The man belches loud. Now, we fight. What's the use of drinking without a proper fight to- Well, really hope I didn't forget anything important. Um, drunkard. Booze and adrenaline make him a powerful foe. He won't be able to keep standing on his legs for too long, though. Okay, well... This. The puppers. And we'll do this. Use his armor. And then do that. What do you got for me? Okay. We are still in business. That's not gonna kill him. Um this and small strikes a couple more small strikes and then attack them okay bring it on Sally right I am stronger now let us hmm, reduce his armor and modify yeah. And let's hit him some more. 
Because he likes it. He loves being beaten. Oh, he's going to do a 14. Okay. Well, if that's the case. If that's the case. Fortify. Randos. Strike him. And strike him. Okay. I need a few more hits so I can do the life steal. Okay. Six. What is this? I need. Ooh, I need eight charges. Okay, I gotta hit some more. Uh. Okay. This one. That's not gonna kill him. But I can hurt the piss out of him. So. That. And. Three hits. So Eleven. Or gain armor. Retaliate five. Hmm. Let's let's gain armor. I don't want to get hurt too bad. Oh. Oh, I guess he just tired himself out. The man finally collapses and disappears into the weirdness. You find a few things on the ground. Ooh. Quite a few things. Um, do I have two more calcs? Oh, I got Gar. Oh, but I've got three calcs here, so cool. Combine. First turn, draw cards. Heal HP after every combat one. Well, heal five, one hit for five to everybody. Let's do, let's do this one. Use armor, max HP. That is also good. I need to open up another slot. Um, I need to heal myself. So let's eat some of that. And what else can I do right now? Mm, I guess I can just heal myself a little bit. Not too much. Because I'm all about the dammy. The big dammy. What we got here? Hmm. Let's light a. Yeah. So I want to get nerfed a lot. Alright. So we got a bunch of boys that are going to hit me. Hmm. We need to stun you. Bring out the puppers. And gain some armor. Okay. Um, more armor. And let's eat on you. Uh, random enemies. You. Uh, and let's get some puppy action. You know, why not? Jerk. Alright. 
life steal. And I need to beat on you. Cool. Um, kill you. Let's do some small strikes. Yeah, that was nice. And then, uh, you know, do some of that. Could I do any more? Okay, so the life still only lasts for the one turn. Um. Fortify. Buff. So that, yeah, okay. Alright. We are doing things. We are making progress. And I gotta get hit a lot to, to use that ability. Uh. Gain 10 armor. Yeah, let's sponge up some more damage. And small strikes. And then attack you. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, I have eight. That is what I needed. We can do some more life steal. Some more damage. I can hit you. The finish the blow is not gonna kill you though. But whatever. It's gonna hit you for a lot. And then I'm gonna. Yeah, it's fortified. Okay. Yeah, make it go back up. I'm okay with that. That is fine with me. Uh, lower this again. And, 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 uh -huh. Oh, you were loving that. Just loving it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's get some more life steal. would be pet the wolf. You should be dead, sir. You should be dead. Uh, um, four. Yeah, you're gonna be dead anyway. Let's do it. damage and draw one card. Draw four cards? That's one block for each enemy alive. Block is cool. Um, it doesn't make my ability go up, though. And drawing one card, is that really going to be beneficial? I don't really have anything useful. But I guess counter. I guess we'll just do that. Treasure. You found what was protected yes. when you filled your pocket. Mm -hmm. Get more damage. Get more weird shards. Unlock a new combat slot. Uh, that's not a rune slot, so I don't need that. Uh, weird shards. Not really buying anything with those. I guess more damage. Of course, now we can give money to what's his face. But I kind of don't want to walk all the way back over there, so it sucks to be you. Um, okay, we've got... Oh man, I have no idea where the boss is in this map. We fight. Oh, it's two of y'all, okay. Lose 50 damage, well, that sucks. Fortify, puppy, um, let's just start whacking away. <coughs> hmm. Counter, not really gonna help me. Armor. Yep. I just hurt so bad. Finish 
Finishing blow. Uh, stand. Reduce armor of all enemies. Increase max HP. I need some more rune slots opened. That's what I need right now. Right, Piper. As you walk carefully in the woods, a quick, lithe creature runs towards you. It takes you a moment to realize it's a human. He brandishes a short wooden stick, screaming and shouting in despair. Okay. My children! I've seen what you've done to my children! Uh, what? Children? Barbarian! Sacrilegious scum! You shouldn't have done that. What will I do without them? Don't know what you're you talking about, bro. Confused. He looks malnourished, as if he's had nothing to eat since he entered the weirdness. Can we give him a sandwich? You're sure that was a long, long time ago. I failed them. I couldn't protect them. I'm not worthy of it anymore. Turns out the stick he tried to beat you with was an instrument. A flute. He sniffles. The flute is a strange one. Mysterious markings and blood cover its surface. Okay. Take it! It's your duty now! Sure. Why would I need this he flute, though? He plays a simple melody. Suddenly rats swarm all over you. You've seen enough of them already to know how this will end. Uh, kill him before he summons more rats. Ask him to stop. Why? They were- He plays a simple melody and the rats suddenly stop. Some sway from left to right, as if dancing to the rhythm. He's the Rat King. You see? They would never- Uh, you get one wooden flute. Use it. Use it every time you see them. Play this. You bow to the stranger and- Okay. I got a flute, apparently. I don't know what that was about, but okay. I'm a flute now. Uh, weird. Oh, we got a whole running crew. Okay. Well, how am I gonna do this one? Got a lot of boys here. Let us do this, and then get the puppy, and then, hmm. small strikes, and fortify, okay, alright, one block for each enemy, but only one of them is going to hit me, oh, Go back. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, do I have the buff thing? I don't. Let's do this. Finishing blow. Get rid of you. Cool. Then I can reduce your armor. Yes. Fortify. Okay. You're done. Then there's only you. Who I can handle. Seven, and let's keep on. Okay. Okay, storm. Life steal. Hook me up, please. Ethel. Each card played increases my damage. As opposed to just increasing damage by two. Um, yeah, let's let's get some Ethel action. Okay. 
see how this works. An ethereal creature made of light and fog appears in front of you. The whole world seems hushed due to her presence. Okay. She is truly nice. remarkably beautiful. What up? It must be silence. The girl that the blacksmith ah. told you about. Blacksmith's As you come closer, uh, side piece. The girl becomes aware booty of your call, presence. Actually. She runs into the nearby bushes. You take a few slow steps. But the Does that mean we got her? Just kind of pieced out. Oh, you know what? He's probably going to have to give us some sort of item to give her so she doesn't run. Probably what's going to happen. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's just go to... Let's go to the boss. Because I'm running low on things. Uh, let's get a blessing. Damage increase, thank you. I'm going to need it. And then let's go ahead and, uh, let's feed myself. Because this is it. Reduce damage of everyone by 50% this turn. If I'm to use once. Man, these are a lot of strange items. Alright. Heal myself. That's all I got. That's all I've got. Light it up. Bring it on. Bring it on, you golem bitch. Okay. Cost of one random car by two. This turn. Uh, okay. So reduce your damage. Get the wolf. Oh, man. Yeah, fortify. I should... I'm not gonna stop.
finishing blow to make this even stronger. And then seize the opportunity. Okay. Alright. Ooh, big swing. Okay. Okay, well, then I'm gonna have to block. Probably kill the little one. Right? 12. Yeah, okay. I think so. You. Oh, that's on random enemies. Oh, I don't get to choose. Um. Yeah, let's let's do counter. Because I can't risk it. I can't risk it. Okay, alright. Reduce damage of all enemies by 50 or reduce the cost of one random card. Ooh. It'll be half. Unless I block. That's gonna make my armor go down. Um here's your one block. have a block on. But let's do some of that. Uh, stunning is just going to make him summon another dude. It's a puppy. And blocks hit from enemy but only lasts one turn. It, it's fine. Do your one hit. Okay. Now you're going to do two hits. So now is the time. Um, to stun him, which means he's gonna bring out a dude. Gonna power up. Gonna life steal. Do some of that. Mm -hmm. Do some of that. Get my health back. Pet the wolf. And then we're gonna fortify. Nice. That worked out very well. Okay. You're gonna do a big hit. I just need one block. Yeah. I literally just need... Uh, dick. What's a dick? One block. It's okay, it's okay. Because I can kill you. I can kill you with my strength. And my power. This is nothing. This is nothing. Yeah, yeah you, you're done. You are literally done, skis. Adios, muchacho. Golem defeats you. Nice. Block the next hit of a chosen enemy. Uh, this turn gain 50 armor and stun every enemy that hits you. Okay. You know, two hits for 100. Oh, cleave. Cleave damage is good. Trap is also nice. Gain 50 armor and stun every enemy that hits you. Man. But I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do cleave. The trap would probably be tight. Whenever you receive a hit, reduce enemy's armor by 10. Increase your max HP by 3 after every after each victorious combat. Ooh! Holy crap! Shang Tsung in this bitch! Each combat, the damage received from the first three hits is reduced to 1. Man! That would be cool though, but I'm gonna do Soul Feels Trap. Like an echo of something that happened before. Yep. I'll remove a card from the deck. Yeah, give me a passive. 
draw two more cards in the first turn. After killing the enemy, heal yourself for two. Start of every turn, gain 25% damage for the next hit. Well, the, at the start of every turn. And... But healing myself for two after each enemy. Let's do the, let's do the damage. Okay. Let's go home. Okay. That was an excellent run. Goodness. Oh, seamstress. What yeah. I do? Yeah, I have blood now, so get a random passive. Hell yeah. Thank you. That is, that is good. Random passive. Every turn retaliate the first hit. Dealing hell yeah. That is awesome. Oh, I am all buffed up right now. This berserker has done well. It, it has literally done well. Uh, the ghost. Snake gets charms. Oh, you're still here. Okay. I thought you vanished. Uh, get a special card for 75. Uh, gain 50% damage or 25 armor. Hey, not complaining. Not complaining about that. Uh, oh, I got the, the bark for you from that dude's leg. Please take it. Marvelous. I can do my research immediately. Mm -hmm. She disappears somewhere within her home. Weird sounds drift out to your ears, along with her muttering to herself. After a while, she emerges in a cloud of smoke. What up? So, boss... I think I know what happened to your friend and how he could be helped. I knew it couldn't be magic. I just knew it. I mean, his legs are like literally rooted into the ground and connected to to a campfire. So he's burning his legs constantly. How's it not magic? She takes out some paper and starts drawing diagrams you can't quite understand. Weirdness is morphing reality according to thoughts, wishes and fears. It's all about the raw emotion, reactions to unfortunate events, or being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Hey. At least, that's my theory, on how humans or animals turn into weird spawn. I'm not sure the druids would agree. It's all about the effect that the weirdness has on human emotions. It's, it seems that to some extent, they may become literal manifestations. Okay. I mean, what I'm trying to say is... Um, this man isn't, well, cursed. I think he's doing it There's to himself out him. of guilt? You said that, that this what you're man saying? feels remorse over what happened in his past, right? Perhaps he feels a need to be punished. And really? so the fire, tainted by the weirdness, granted him his wish. Okay, well, how do we get him out? Well, I'm really sorry to say this, but he'll be of no use to us. No groundbreaking discoveries are going to happen here. Yes. Yes, you you can still save your friend. It's it's simple. Just talk to him. Absolve him, free him, kill him, whatever. I'm pretty sure he could just stand up and walk away from that fire. Well. Okay, then. That's apparently all we need to do is just hook him up. Hmm. That's so strange that he... Because of the powers in this place, he's inadvertently doing it to himself. I mean, everyone else isn't so lucky. You're back already. Uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, oh, that's right. I don't have enough to do stuff for you yet. Mm. Choose one of three available cards. Or remove a card. Um, yeah, man, what's, um, what card you got for me? Gain one block and pick one card from the grave. Every time you play it, raise the cost of this card by one. Oh, I can only do it three times. Uh, reduce the energy cost of two cards in your hand. Okay. Deal one hit of 140 damage. Damage increased by 30 for every... Ooh, bloodlust. Oh, that sounds awesome. Hell yeah. My goodness, this is a hell of a run. Uh, oh, the I found your booty call. Is hard at work. You tell the blacksmith about your encounter with a girl formed of light. 
A girl who most probably turned into a swan. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the strangest thing I've ever heard. But I guess I should get used to that, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. I suppose there's no way she would come to live with me. Oh, that's, <sighs> that's a Andrew. shame. We can totally really do something. Her. His gaze is filled with... Yeah, that might be a way. You try to comfort him. And then you hear... <clears throat> you hear a fake cough just around the corner. Oh, sorry, oh, comrades. I scientist, bitch. I, I accidentally overheard something about a woman hiding in the woods. Perhaps you just said we couldn't help the fireman. Something. Right, what do you want to do with this? I had a similar story way back when. It supposedly happened in my castle. It turned out to be a witch, living in harmony with a weirdness. Okay. okay, so there is a simple solution to force her to stay in human form long enough to talk to her. Is this safe? Safe enough. <laughs> For humans, at least. Although, if I'm wrong and she's not a witch... Please, do whatever it takes to communicate with her. I'm okay. Hilda, by the way. Greetings, Hildy. I'm Wayland. Thank you for your help. They look at each other a little longer than you'd expect them to. Come speak with me in a moment. I'll have the potion ready. Goodness. Such a lively little town. Blacksmith is um. I've only got one runestone dust. That's not enough to hook you up, man. It's not enough. Um. But I can buy a crack stand. Which, you know, uses the rest of my money. But, but, now that we got all three, come on! Look at that. Look at that. Uh, increases max HP. Heal HP after every combat one. And these are both good. Uh, each card played increases my damage. Man, that's good too. That's good stuff. Probably one of my better runs for show. I'm getting so much stuff. All the people in town are here. Hello. Just splatter it near the place she likes. That should lure her. And and when you're done, tell Wayland that he owes me too. I need a new cauldron. My old one's starting to leak, and that's quite dangerous when it comes to stronger potion. Okay, well, throw the potion on the ground where she's at and get her to stay. Sounds simple enough. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, before we continue to the next area, geez, that's that was a lot. Let's, uh, yeah, let's save. Save some progress. Okay, wow, that was quite a bit for this episode. Holy cow. A lot went on. I just, I can't believe how much stuff happened in that one run. Usually when I do these runs, I just kind of... You know, burn through, kill some enemies, level up a little bit, so I can get enough points to unlock the next character, and then, I, well, then and then just die. <laughs> but I'm I'm surprised that the Berserker probably will go on my list of characters to play with. So right now I've got the Summoner, Blood Mage. You know, maybe I, the only reason I say Blood Mage is because I was able to get really far with playing it my first try. It just I don't know, they promote themselves. But anyway, that class, and now this Berserker seems legit. The other five, I could care less about. Just get him out of here. But I'm really curious to see what happens from this point, because I'm enjoying this class, but I know I'm going to unlock, I think, two more before all the characters are done. So hopefully they'll be interesting as well. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that like button. Leave many comments, anything you want to tell me, any advice you want to give me on this game. And yes, subscribe for future content. I upload pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so three times a week. Um, but that's it. I'll see you guys in the ne next episode. <laughs> Bye.